today's video tutorial i'm going to make a video specifically on how to sell your cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum litecoin whatsoever coin that you have that is crypto in your wallet on your binance wallet how to sell that directly to your bank account now if you are new to my channel consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time new videos like this are published on this channel i have several um, finance video tutorials on my channel and you know because people don't have the patience to watch all the video um, it's beginning to give them a lot of headache not knowing this um, exact method of selling your bitcoin directly to your bank account so that is why i decided to make this video specifically for that so i'm going to be dividing all of those video tutorials i made about how to use binance um, details and the rest so I'm going to break them down, all of them I'm going to break them down. So in today's video, we are looking at how to sell Bitcoin directly to your bank account. Now, this is a Binance app. I'm doing this on the phone because 95% of you will be doing this, will be doing it from a mobile phone. So that's why I'm using the phone interface so that you'll be able to follow along. Now, if you have a Binance account and you are not having this interface, I will show you shortly how to switch to this interface. But if you don't have a Binance account and you want to create an account, all you just need to do is to use the link below this video description to sign up for an account and then wherever you have your bitcoin just transfer them to your binance account and then follow this method to send it directly to your bank account so first thing you want to do to switch to this interface that i have on my screen now to be able to follow up is you will need to go to this icon here the icon at the top um, left hand side here so once you go to that icon click on it and once you click on the icon the next thing is to toggle this off because by default your binance app will be on the light binance um, um, interface so make sure you come and toggle this off and then when you toggle that off you need to go back to the home page and when you go back to the home page you have something like this so once you have an interface like this you should be able to follow along with what i'm going to show you here the first thing you will need to do once you come on your Binance app is that if you if you see down here um, where you have the home button, the market, the, the trades, the feature, wallet, all of this tab you see here, um, on down here where you see all of these tabs there, what I want you to do is you see where you have the home, the market, all of these tabs you see here. What I want you to do is to click on wallet and when you click on wallet at the top here at the top here there are different wallets um, that Binance have here um, basically all of these wallets are for different purposes you see the spot wallet you see the margin wallet you see the official wallet and then you see the P2P wallet all of these wallets you see here are for different purposes and now since we are selling to bank account what we need is the P2P wallet so all I need to do now is to go ahead and click on this P2P wallet. But before we do that, if someone sends you Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, or you have a platform that pays you in, in, in Bitcoin and the rest, what happens is that every coin that is sent to your Binance account by default is on your spot wallet. All of them will come under your spot wallet. So you will need to first transfer that money or that coin or the Bitcoin or the Ethereum from your spot wallet to your P2P wallet. After you've done that transfer successfully, that is when you will not be able to make um, a sell those Bitcoin or any, any of those cryptocurrency directly to your bank account. So first thing we want to do is, once you come down here to click on wallet, at the bottom right hand side there, once you click on wallet, after clicking on wallet, the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and click on transfer. Here where you see transfer, Go ahead and click on it if you click on transfer here you will see where it says um that you are transferring from spot wallet to p2p wallet so if it is not this way you need to just click on this icon here to swap it um to make sure you are transferring from your spot wallet to your p2p wallet and whatever coin you want to transfer you go ahead and select that coin here if it is bitcoin selected if not just click on this arrow and then the drop down will come but in this case we are doing p2p so at the end of the day this is where you input in the amount you want to transfer um it could be that you want to transfer all of the bitcoin you have if that be the case just click on the max and it will you know pull out all the bitcoin you have and after that just click on transfer down here 
and automatically those your coin will be transferred from your p2p from your spot wallet to your p2p wallet now once you finish transferring from your spot wallet to your p2p wallet the next thing is to click on the p2p wallet here at the top so just go ahead and click on the p2p and then when you click on the p2p wallet uh, as you can see i have some balance here already on my p2p wallet and this is what we're going to trade so what we are going to do now is to click on the p2p trade we go ahead and click on this p2p trading and it will take us to the trading tab all right so once we are on the p2p um, uh, tab here once we come up to the p2p trading if you look at these options there you see different coin you can trade uh, usdt you can trade bitcoin you can trade all of these different coins that you see here that relate to your bank account so our concern here what we converted was bitcoin so we are going to change that bitcoin directly to our bank um, account so that is why I click on the Bitcoin tab here and at the top here what you usually see at the top here is you see the buy button and you see the sell button so since we are selling we are going to select the sell button and then we go on with it so I'll go to the sell tab and once I go to the sell tab you see all of these different options there this is what people are ready to sell and this person is ready to sell another thing when you come in here look at the limit of what people are ready to actually sell um this person is ready to buy from three thousand up to seven hundred and fifty thousand and then the method is bank transfer all we need to do now since this person the first person here is bank transfer we'll go ahead and click on sell and when we click on sell we'll now select the bitcoin that we want to sell if it is all i'll just go ahead if it is all of my Bitcoin I want to sell, I'll just go ahead and click on all. And then when I click on all, now because the person has a limit of buying 750,000 Naira only, it is that that will be showed here. So this is what will be showed here. And then the next thing is to select a payment method. Where it says select payment method, this is select your payment method option here. The Bitcoin I have on my wallet is more than 750,000. That's why I will only select by default. Binance only select this option. So we'll go ahead and select the payment method. Go ahead. I've added payment method already. If you don't have payment method added here, just click on the button here to add the payment method. But since I have one already, I'll go ahead and select that payment method. And once I select the payment method, the next thing is just to click on sell um, BTC and we'll go ahead and click on sell. All right. Because this is updated every second, you, you know, you'll be asked to refresh the page. And once the, you refresh the page now, the coin is no more available. This app has been updated. So once it's updated, just go ahead and refresh the page. Click on all again and it will be updated. Once you're updated, click on sell. Um, I say we should refresh the page. So let's go ahead and refresh again. And when we refresh, press all here again and sell. All right, this person seems not to be available. So in this case, we we'll just need to go back um, again, and then we we'll just refresh this page by just dragging your screen down. And when we refresh the page, we we'll scroll down here. Now the options you are seeing here, all of these icons you are seeing here, are all for Binance. When you sell in this case, it is the money will be in your Binance um, um, Naira account. It's going to be in your Binance local currency account. So if you want to change to let's say bank transfer because that is what the p2p option is all about best that person transfer the money directly to your bank account and then you get the money there so if you want to do that method all you just need to do is to click on this icon you see up here once you click on that icon let me go ahead and click on it you can now see bank transfer or all of this payment option so let us go with bank transfer once we click on bank transfer i'll go ahead and click on yes and it will refresh this page and will now see people who are ready to sell via bank transfer this person is selling only from 65 the limit here this person is selling here is only 65 to a hundred thousand and then this person is ready to sell from 500 to a million so we'll go ahead and sell to this second person here let's go ahead and sell to this second person i just go ahead and click on sell and here i can decide to sell or if I decide to sell all, it pulls all of my coin here. And um, let me not sell or let me just go ahead and enter the quantity down to so 0.01. Let's say we want to sell 0.14. Or let me make it 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15. 0 0.15
018. All right, so um, once I'm satisfied with the number I want to sell, select the payment method, click on it, and select this payment method, and then I'll go ahead and click on sell. And this person seems to be available, and we have um, Binance is giving us 45 minutes to actually execute this payment. So after this calm down, if the person refuses to make the payment, the trade will automatically be cancelled. So you don't need to bother whether the person will make the payment. And here at the top here, you see an option. There is a chat section here at the top. So you go ahead and click it and see what the person has said. So let's go ahead and click the notification there to see what is there. And then be patient. Payment is on this way. That is what the person has said. All right, we're going to be patient about that. We don't have a problem. And we'll wait for the person to make the payment. Once the person makes the payment, the next thing is to come down here and click on confirm to confirm that we must have received the money in our bank before we can click on confirm. So once we click on confirm, the money will be sent um, directly. Your Bitcoin will be deducted and sent to this person directly. And the icon here is for call. This is where you see the person's phone number. This dial icon here you see here. Once I click on it, it will reveal the person's phone number. So let me just go ahead and click on that. This is the person's phone number. And all I just need to do is to place a call across to this person to make sure that the person is ready to make the payment. So let me just call it. Well, I called the person, um, he or she didn't pay, but I just have to be a size patient. So all I just need now to do is to wait for this payment to come in. And once the payment comes in, then we can now go ahead and proceed to the confirmation so basically that is how you sell bitcoin directly to your bank account you don't have any issue once this payment is confirmed um once this time that is giving you uh, that binance has given the person to make the payment once the time elapses and the person refuses to make the payment this trade will automatically be cancelled but if the person goes ahead to make the payment we're going to receive that payment now and then we'll not come in here to confirm so i'll just give it a moment and once the person confirms the payment i'll come here to confirm that the person has um, made the payment so let us just hold on for a moment for this person to make that all right guys so after waiting for a while um the payment was actually made so all i just need to do now i have confirmed that the payment has entered and because it has entered once i come in here to the binance app as you can see on the notification here with this one notification on the others if i click on it you see that the payment has been made successfully um, this person has been able to transfer this money and in most cases one thing with this p2p trading is that uh, a lot of persons are not online and in most cases you try to call them their numbers are not going so i was just trying different persons and then when this person came up he was even the one that called me he was even the one that called me to confirm if, if, if i'm online so that i'll be able to confirm his payment and i say yes and he went away and made the payment i have received the payment and all i just need to do now is to go ahead and click on confirm so i just click on the confirm button confirm receipt button down there once i just go ahead binance will ask you are you sure that you want to confirm this payment go ahead and click on confirm and boom go ahead and add your authenticator here so the next thing is to open my authenticator and my binance let me open up binance and then copy the binance code here come back to binance and paste that code. I just copied here. So go ahead and paste the code here and click on submit. Yep. So this has been done successfully. I just click on done and that is it. So if you try different things and maybe the first one didn't work, the second one didn't work, just go ahead and try uh, and try again. And another thing I need to mention here is when you are trading on the P2P um, platform, if I go back to P2P trading again. On this icon here where you used to change the payment method if you click on it and you change it to bank equally check this one that says only show us from merchant because merchants are the one who are likely to buy from you if you just make it all if you just toggle this off merchant the board merchants and those who are not merchant that then you don't know who is a, a merchant or not so if you toggle this on it's only going to show you ads from merchants. Merchants are those who are into partnership with, with Binance. So they are likely to buy from you. Basically, that is how you buy and sell your Bitcoin directly to your bank account. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel once again, consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified. 
which time new videos like this are published. It's raining over here, so um, the noise, background noise you're hearing is because of the rain over here. I had to wait, and when the payment was made was now, so I just have to make this video to add it up to the first one. Alright, so I'll see you next in my next video. Bye for now.